Southeastern has not had a player drafted into the NFL in 29 years. That'll change this weekend. Robert, Robert Alfred says he'd love to be a Saint, although the odds of that seem long. Juan Kincaid caught up with Alfred in Hammond. Right now, I think I'm carrying the, I'm carrying the Hammond name on my back. And Robert Alford's about to put the town and Southeastern on the map when his name is called later this week at the NFL draft. Just seeing all my work on, being, being, being able to come to this um, next Thursday and just hearing my name called, I think that will be a very um, exciting day for me. It's a day that Alford seemed destined for since he was 12 years old. He gets to follow the footsteps of his big brother, Fred Booker, who's been his lone NFL season with the Saints back in 2005. Ever since he played in the NFL, he told me that um, everything that I needed to do is like to be able to make it to the team. It's why Alford continues to put the work in out here. About two hours a day, seven days a week, he can be seen working on his craft in Strawberry Stadium. Alford said he wants to be ready to contribute to the team that gives him his big shot. I got to simulate everything um, from the hip to my brakes and just make sure everything crisp and fine. Um, whenever I have a proper workout, whenever I'm, I'm um, going to rookie camp, everything is good. As you can see, life of an NFL draft pick to be not so glamorous like it will be in New York later this week. For Robert Alford, the majority of his work leading up to the draft has been right here in Strawberry Stadium, most times all by himself. And it's worked for him so far. Every head-turning performance he's had, the senior bowl. And that's Robert Alford still running. He has a clear lane to the end zone. The combine. And his private workouts in Carolina, Jacksonville, Miami, and Seattle. He's got very quick feet. That's a good time for him. That's a have all benefited from how he's handled himself out here in a quiet setting. How I went at it uh, from the senior bowl to the uh, combine to my pro day. I just um, done what I, what I was able to um, to control, and that's just and that was just killing the workouts. The hard work you put in will give you the ultimate reward in the end. That's what Alford's counting on later this week. I had to go up and down. I just had to turn heads. I mean, that was my whole mindset. Even though when I first got to Southeast, I had that chip on my shoulder. Because um, I always had the dream that I want to go to the NFL. In Hammond, I'm Juan Kincaid, 4th down on 4. All right, thanks, Juan. Back with Mike Dettelier. Robert Alford, a legitimate second-round pick. No question about it. Outstanding cover guy. He's got the recovery speed. He's quick in the hips, can make a play on the football. Also can help you in the return game. And he played big when he had to. Doug, every time he played a better opponent or played in a bowl game or worked out, he was able to elevate his stock. He's a late second-round pick and a guy that, uh, listen, uh, he beat the odds. You look at all these small college cornerbacks that, that come out in the NFL today, it's amazing. Amazing from just in Louisiana. You know about Alfred, Tyran Matthew, Theron Simon, uh, Eric Reed at safety. Unbelievable. All right, and... Without a second-round pick, it'll be difficult for the Saints to get Alfred. But this guy did meet with the Saints. We caught up.